Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to a review of the featured vehicles from 2016 Planes Case B. Now, this was supposed to be an actual case unboxing, but since Give Me Collectibles, who I buy my cases from, did not get this case, I decided to buy them off Amazon for $7.99 each. Now, at this time I'm recording this, only Jigsaw number 29 and Franzarelli number 8 are left for $7.99, while the ones you see in front of you, Ted Yale, Trudy Trailway, and Windy Wheelchocks are not available for $7.99 yet. Now, there also is another popular one in this case, Secretary of the Interior, but I did not purchase this one because uh, he was available on Amazon quite a few months ago and I did review him I believe back in April. He was a part of a 3 pack for $20.99 so I bought that and so you can check that video out but I will show him briefly loose when we take a look at them loose. Now I did want to mention one thing about the plane series. As you can see they have combined the series, uh, or combined both movies I should say, Planes and Planes Fire and Rescue. but. What I am seeing right now is the they have basically Planes Fire and Rescue series and Planes series because none of these series cross over. For example, the Piss and Peak series only has vehicles from the second movie and Nebraska Trial series only has vehicles from the first movie. Now, that is um the, I'm pretty sure that is what's going on for at least this time right now, but that may change in the future. But for example, the cars, they have the Tuner series, which has DJ Boost from the first movie, but from the second movie, they have Harumi and Suki and the other characters um, in that line. So I just wanted to let you guys know that, but they did kind of combine it, so they all are in series now. And you may be confused if you did not watch my first 2016 planes case, which was case A unboxing video, uh, because I said 2016, and it's well still in the 2015, 2016's a uh, few months away, but it's coming very uh, quickly. And uh, the reason for that is that retailers did not buy many of the 2015 cases for the planes. Instead, they, I don't know, they just didn't really buy many of them, so Mattel just went forward and started the 2016 line early on in late July, and now as people are finding these at Toys R Us and Walmart, and probably Target in the next few days, or maybe weeks, I'm not really sure. So, I just wanted to let you guys know that I explained it a little bit more in the Case A video, so you can check that out. Uh, it'll be a card and in the description below. And one more off-topic thing before we get into the uh, review is that I did mention this in my Q&A, but the comments, when I when someone comments on my video, I do not get notifications. And I actually contacted Collection TV, and he also is not getting emails either. So I thought it was just me, but it's not. So hopefully YouTube fixes that soon because I can't see if anyone comments on a video that I did a while back because I'm only checking the ones that I did recently unfortunately so don't take it personally if I don't reply to your comment because uh, YouTube's not emailing me anymore so let's get into a review of the packaging of the new singles or I should say uh, like planes deluxe I guess so first up we have probably the best in the case in my opinion Ted Yale from the Grand Fuselage series and just so you guys know there are no numbers for the series and here's the luggage Kind of concierge he is really cool can't wait to open him up got some nice art so you can see some cars in the background too and on the back here we have uh, the entrance of the lodge cad spinner and uh, cad spinner and pulaski are getting re-released and there's a new release of bessie c flywell who will be really cool and the description for this series is grand fusel lodge has been welcoming visitors to piston peak national park for years now a wildfire threatens the lodge on the night of its grand reopening Next up, we have Trudy Trailway from the Piston Peak series. Now, this art is absolutely horrible in my opinion. Just the uh, kind of face there, it just looks really bad in my I can't even see much of the actual character at all. It's just kind of like a green face that really could be anybody. But uh, I really wish they kind of made him smaller and pulled him out a little bit further, but they didn't. But I mean, it looks, it, it doesn't look horrible, but it's just not the best because you could really see a lot more of this character, that'd be nice. And on the back here, we have a picture of some Buck and uh, the Doze. And uh, we could, Old Jammer is getting a re-release as he was only released in Canada in 2014. 
Linus Lines, who be, will probably be in the next case along with Winnie. Harvey and Tractor Buck were in the first 2016 case. And Secretary of the Interior is in case B that I'm reviewing right now, but I did not buy him. Because as I said, he was kind of released in an Amazon 3-pack. The description for this series is every year thousands of visitors explore breathtaking Piston Peak National Park from the bottom of its crystal clear waters to the top of its towering cliffs. Next up, we have a uh, Nebraska Trials racer that uh, cheated, actually. He was using illegal fuel, I believe that was the case. Uh, this is Franzarelli number 8. And on the back here, we have Tysanitis, who was released in the uh, 2015 case A, I believe, and is also in this case. He's on Amazon for $7.99 if you want to pick him up. Piston number 12, who hasn't been released yet. Sacker number four, I'm guessing, will be in the next case. Uh, Firebird number 16 was in the second case for 2015, but never hit stores, so that'll probably be in an upcoming 2016 case. And we have the correct image for the Nebraska Trials, just as uh, Dusty is about to take off. And the description for the series is at the Nebraska Trials, Dusty and his fellow racers have one last chance to qualify for the Wings Around the Globe rally. And next up, we have Jigsaw number 29. I love his art. It looks really cool, in my opinion. From the USS Fleisenhauer series. Very cool. And on the back here, we could see Delta, who was in the first 2016 case, and along with Bravo. Jolly Wrenches Dusty, I believe, is in this case, but I'm not entirely sure. But he's been released many times before. And Falco who was in this case as well for, you could pick him up on Amazon for $7.99 right now. And just so you guys know for reference, he was in the second case for 2015 that never hit stores. You could kind of see a picture of um, the USS Fisenhower deck. And the description is, the USS Fisenhower is home to the Jolly Wrenches, a squadron of brave fire, plane, fire, brave fighter planes and crew members. A uh, pretty nice series, got some new rules new releases out of that but definitely not the most exciting and we have a, a pretty cool series i i think it's gonna be a great one called corn fest and this is windy wheel chocks and if you don't know what wheel chocks are they are the wedges that keep the planes from moving um so they're kind of like they go up against the wheels the landing gear and on the back we have Refurbished Mayday, who is new after he kind of got the uh, whole new look to him. A re-release of Firefighter Dusty, who was in the first case for 2016. And Brody, who looks really cool. He's probably the same model as uh, this one right here, uh, which is uh, Windy Wheel Shocks, but you'd have to see when he's released. And here's kind of a picture of the beginning of the movie. Uh, not really the Corn Fest, but they kind of were talking about it there. And the description is, Cornfest is the can't-miss event of the season in Prabhash Junction. With appearances by Firefighter Dusty and his Piston Peak friends, the festival will be extra special this year. So that's all for the packages of 2016 Planes Case B. So let's jump into the diecast. First up, we have Jigsaw number 29, who appeared in Skipper's flashback scene when he's recalling when his squadron attacked an enemy fleet, and unfortunately, all of his squadron died except him. And this one actually did appear for a quick second. I do have a screenshot that I'll put up on the screen of this plane. And as I said, unfortunately, this character is deceased, though. And there's actually one that's coming up in a probably a future case. And I'm pretty sure his name is Lucas number 36. And this is what he looks like. And I did not do a video on this one yet, but I have showed him in some of my videos and submitted pictures to take five a day. And they made an article about it. And he's very similar to uh, number 29 here, only he's called Lucas. So he's pretty cool. He'll probably be in a future case. And um, I also have Skipper, who's, uh, of course, very alike as well. But we'll just take a look at uh, Jigsaw exclusively for now. He's got kind of the navy emblems on the side and on the wings there. VF-17, got kind of a white design, which Skipper nor uh, Lucas has that design on him. He also has the Jolly Wrenches, Jolly Wrenches logo on either side of kind of his engine here, which looks pretty cool. It looks a little bit different than the normal Jolly Wrenches logo. Actually, uh, it is the same. Uh, number, Lucas has a little bit different though. And I believe Dusty has a little bit different as well. And uh, he's got number 25 on the landing gear right there. The connector to the playset there. 
And um, nothing really else to him. He's got this kind of nice blue, light blue color to him along with the dark blue. So he looks pretty cool. Not my favorite though, probably my least favorite from this case actually. And we, just to compare him to number 36 here, not many differences, just a little bit. Obviously the expression's different and the navy emblems are a little bit different. They look pretty cool together. Yeah, this is probably the only two of his squadron that will actually get a release. But you know, you never know. I doubt they'll do more than two though. And uh, finally we have Skipper here just to compare. They are slightly different colors there. You can see Skipper's a lighter blue, probably because he's older and it's faded. You can see that there. And uh, he's also got kind of the navy emblems on there. He's number seven. They all got that VF-17 uh, on the side there. So that's basically it for Jigsaw number 29. Probably my least favorite from the case, but uh, let me know how you think about Jigsaw. Next up, I'm going to show briefly is Secretary of the Interior. You could check out my video on him for a full review, but I'm just going to kind of show him real quick here. He's actually very cool. He's one of the more prominent characters in the movie, actually. And uh, uh, he's really nice, actually. I really do like him. Pretty cool. He's got this nice emblem on the side there with a tractor. And uh, yeah, as I said, just check out my other video on it so I can go into more detail. Okay, but he's pretty cool, and he's also in this case, so I'll keep, uh, you should keep an eye out for him if you still don't have him. Next up, we have Wendy Wheelchocks. And I actually really do like this character. She appeared at the Honkers bar scene when uh, the pickup came in and uh, gave the pickup line to the car, the small female car there. So quick appearance, but you, it's kind of notable if you rewatch the movie. So she's a pretty cool character. I do like her. Um, this is the only plane so far that has been released that uh, has a front single wheel that does not fold back. And it's understandable because this plane's a little bit different and probably does have enough room to do so. But I'm just pointing out that all the other planes that have a front wheel, as you can see here is Tysantis, who has a front single wheel. It folds in and you could pull it back out if you do so choose. And that's pretty cool, so they give him a moving part, but they did not give Wendy a uh, moving part, unfortunately. But she's very nice. I love the colors on her. Unfortunately, though, if you kind of, uh, kind of like knock her back, she always falls down. It's just a little unbalanced. She's got a code on her. And 08962, and as I pointed out, the nice purple and pink colors. Nothing more to her. Got the connector to the play set there. Uh, a very nice plane in my opinion. I'm looking for uh, looking forward to Brody so you can get kind of a, a few of these different style planes. Next up, we probably have the favorite of the case, which is Ted Yale. And he is really cool. He's kind of the bellboy of planes, fire and rescue of the uh, Grand Fuselage. Uh, very cool in my opinion. There's the This is the only ever kind of car like this that has been released. I mean, it's really it's like a four-wheel pity, but doesn't have the forklift and probably the most similar car I have to him is Danielle and Muffler from the Disney store because she's kind of a also four wheel pity I guess I could say and hopefully Mattel actually releases their version of the Danielle and Muffler and I believe it's Shelly something uh, very soon that'd be cool maybe a two pack next year and uh, so Ted Yale looks really cool he's got the Grand Fuselage logo down there which looks nice and this is his little hat up here and uh, he's got, of course, this little hook on the back so his luggage cart can connect to him. And we'll take a look at that in a second. But I assume that's like a propane tank that um, gives him his like energy or gas to go. Like Because he's, he's very similar to a forklift. Here I have a regular forklift from the Piston Cup. So he's a little bit bigger and you can just see the differences there. He has a lot. He has pretty big wheels. His wheels are pretty huge. But he looks really nice. I also really like the taillight deca details on him too. He looks very nice. And um, uh, oops, on too many things over here. And uh, here is his luggage card, which looks really awesome. I really do like it. And um, these little bags up top here actually move. They kind of float around a little bit, and that's why I did not buy this one off eBay because most of them were missing these uh, luggage uh, cases up here. But they do move around, which is nice. And we have recently released Trent Croto, who has similar luggage to um, Ted Yale's cart as well. As you can see, the bags are a little bit similar, different color. 
Very nice. I like that they're uh, releasing this luggage stuff a lot more. I like these accessories. They're very nice. So you can see kind of the similarities in uh, those. Obviously, it doesn't have these big circle containers, which most likely contain hats. I believe these are probably hat boxes or something. Uh, just, I'm not really entirely sure about what those would carry, but obviously this is just general luggage. And we also have Ludwig, who was released in 2014 with similar luggage as well, but obviously not as much. And so they're all really cool. I like that they're releasing a lot of this kind of accessories with luggage. And he does kind of this hook on the back. So as you could probably get multiple of these carts and hook them up because they do have this long um, hitch that you could attach. The only Ted Yale, unfortunately. I did try Crate Rinse and Wash, but his hook bends over and like curls around. So you can't get this to like attach, like go through and kind of curl around like his hook does, unfortunately. So that's a little unfortunate, but I really do like that he kind of turns with the carts. Unfortunately, Acer with cart does not do that, but Trick Proto does. I like that, and you know, it's nice, easy turn. So I really do like that. I just, I can't express how much I like this model. He just looks really cool. I'm really happy to have him in my collection. He was first uh, previewed on the back of Muir's box near the train. And so now he's finally gotten a release. Up next, we have Franzarelli, who, as I said, was in the Nebraska Trials and beat Dusty to the fifth or sixth spot, I believe. I think it was the fifth spot, just by like a point tenth or something of a second. And it actually was uh, found out later that he was using illegal oil or gas. So he was disqualified and Dusty was uh, qualified into the world or the wings around the globe. So you can see his number eight there. I just love his blue stripes. It looks really cool. And uh, he's got the High Def Racing sponsor, I guess, on the side here. High Def Racing on the wing there, too. I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite racers of the uh, Wings Around the Globe and the Nebraska Trials. I mean, just he looks very detailed. And I'll get to his expression in a second, but we also have some minor sponsors on the side here, which too small for me to read. I believe one's for propellers and the one on the bottom there. I can't read them. It's not even focusing right now. Let's focus. There we go. And he's got the connector to the playset, just like all the other planes do. And uh, I just love his expression. As you can see, it kind of looks sleepy, but he's more giving like a grouch. As you can kind of see, his uh, mouth is a little like jagged there. He's kind of like really annoyed. And unfortunately, I don't think he actually appeared this way in the movie. But most likely, he was like this when he was disqualified from the Wings Around the Globe. So, definitely a nice release. I've been looking forward to this one as he was a pretty kind of prominent character in the movie. I mean, he um, definitely was a game changer for Dusty. So nice release of Franz Rally, but definitely not, uh, you know, probably not going to be too hard to find because he's just like a regular racer. And, uh, you know, it's the same version. I believe he is similar. I mean, actually, I believe this might be a new model. Nope, he is the same as LGH86 Special here. Um, uh, yeah, I do believe I just keep changing my mind. I'm not entirely sure the tooling might be a little bit different I feel that Franz Rally is more metal. I feel like his whole back is metal while LGH is red part is plastic So they might have actually changed the tooling for Franz Rally, which would have been awesome I do feel like he's a little bit different. I mean, I think uh, his like wheels are different, but I can't really tell but definitely they're both really nice planes. I'm really happy to have this one in my collection. Just to compare to some of the other planes that are very similar. We have Jan Kowalski here. And you can just automatically tell by the wings that they're a little bit more square. While Franz Reales are more triangle pointed. And uh, we have Little King who's quite smaller. Some more square wings there as well. And uh, one more that I believe is also the same model as him. Which is Koyla Ivanov the Russian racer. He is very nice as well. So I really do like all these planes. They're really cool. I'm, I'm happy to have this one in my collection. So let's get on with the last, but definitely not least, character from the case, which is Trudy Trailway. I really do like this one. Really nice. It's nice that they finally released another bus. I remember seeing this in the Planes Meet the Planes book back when that was released. And now they actually are releasing all the buses, I do believe. Next up will be Linus Line.
and then probably after that will be Chris Compass, who's the blue bus. And I really do like on the side here, you can see Piss and Peak Tours. Tours the parting hourly, ask about carpool rates. And you got kind of a background of the Piston and Peak, some art there. And he just looks really nice, just like a regular tool bus uh, that you would see around if you're going to like a tourist location. And on the back, he's got a license plate, A1125C. And he's kind of got this vent here, which actually is a little detailed. You can see it's like dirty. He's got a little code up here, 31586. And that is actually the code that he has on the top here, which is probably just to identify what buses go in and out. So that looks pretty cool. I mean, just a little prominent there. I'm not really sure what I think about that actually, but you know, it's all right. And then we also have uh, a manual to compare him to. It was the same model, I do believe. As you can see, they did change the review mirrors, or the side view mirrors, I, I'm sorry about that. Uh, and it's most likely because they probably would break off pretty easily, and, and compared to these who won't break off as easily. You can see, uh, he actually, I just realized that he has a Piston Peak logo on his hood there. It's not uh, saying what kind of bus he is, it actually has a Piston Peak logo there. Well, Emmanuel probably has what type of bus he is, as you can see. It's kind of like, actually like a dolphin. I think that actually is a dolphin. <laughs> it's pretty funny, actually. So, these are the same model, but, uh, you know, what can you expect? They're both tour buses. They do have different codes, though, but do they have different license plate? Yes, I do believe they do, if we could focus in uh, here on Emmanuel. He has, obviously, more of a foreign license plate, while uh, Trudy has the American license plate. And that is pretty much all. I really do like uh, these. Actually, no, this is a new model because Emmanuel has this plastic window here while Trudy is all full. So that's nice. They changed it up a little bit. So it's cool that they changed up the tooling for Trudy. So it's nice to see that. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what the other buses will be like. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys did enjoy. I just wanted to let you guys know because you may be wondering, but um, there were a few cuts in this video, mainly because when I am doing my commentary today, um, I, my voice is being strained. I can't do a full commentary. One clip, I have to take a drink and take a break. Unfortunately, that's how it is. I hope my voice heals or something. I don't know what is wrong with it, but I do apologize. That's probably why I was kind of repeating myself and my voice sounded a little bit different and of course for the cut. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.